We're counting it down three weeks away from the total solar eclipse and local business owners are focused on last minute preparations for the big day and weekend. That's right. As Natalie Kutschko explains, a permit is required in Monroe County for any food vendor hoping to serve the crowds. Natalie joining us now. Adam, Teresa, now is the time for businesses to submit their paperwork at the, if they have not already done so to make sure they can get this temporary food service permit, which is required in Monroe County to serve the thousands of people expected to flock here April 8th. Business owners I spoke to today say this is just a head start on the regular festival season, but one they say they don't want to miss. It's all hands on deck for participating businesses setting up for the solar eclipse. Robert Loncoa co-owns Rob's Food Trucks and Catering in Rochester. He says taking part in this once in a lifetime event was a must. People from all around the country are coming to this area specifically for this event. So it was just going to be a jump start to the season. He says their business has been booked for six months. They plan to station two trucks at the RMSC for three days and two at the public market the day of. What's needed to operate, final inspections and a temporary food service permit with Monroe County. So many vendors are going to be out and about. It's probably going to be a lot of competition. Paperwork normally to get our permits for the food trucks, it takes, it could take from when you submit it to when you finally get the permit. What? three weeks maybe. The Longcoas are hoping to have their final inspection completed by the 26th with permits in hand from the county by the 8th. They do a great job. They um, really expedite it if we need it to, you know, so like a couple years I would need it like the next week and we would be able to get it in time. Looking forward to see a lot of new faces in the area from all over. So definitely the city is going to be packed. Believe it or not, vendor applications are still being accepted on Monroe County's website until at least 10 days prior to April 8th. For a full breakdown, of course, on all things Eclipse, local events, need to know stories from our weather team, and much more, be sure to visit our website, rochesterfirst.com. That is under the 2024 Eclipse tab.